Bartender. Walking alone at night. She's either brave or dumb. I'd like to talk to you about your niece. You know, it's not safe here alone. You're old as scotch. The hundred dollar guy. You know I have a black belt in karate. The brave bartender. <laughs> Stay away from my niece. Fine. Who the hell's your niece? Cammy. So I'm going to offer you a job. As my stenographer. Okay, what are we writing? My memoirs. The great evil. Someone should know my story. You are one of these alienists, right? Camille, the brave bartender. Bartender with a grad degree in psychology. Total cliche. We're called therapists these days. Kimmy O'Connell, bartender. Part time shrink. This church hasn't been much luck for your family, has it? The twin brother was a mass murderer. The insane twin brother slaughters nine seminary students and then dusts himself in. When he killed those men, I thought he must be mentally ill, but... Her mind churns with the permutations of what happened in this church when her twin went on his slaughter spree. Something's not right. I just can't figure it out. What if it was demons? Your twin brother's behavior was not born of natural causes. My brother, your nephew, hexed by a witch. How could you not tell me? It's complicated what happened here. Brother Sean is about to start happening to me. He's gonna go crazy and die, isn't he? The great unloved, just like Sean. Your family got mixed up in the supernatural world. Someone made him do something he never would have done. But the lies your uncle told. No one should have to go through that. Were meant to protect you, he is a good man. Isn't it true that Nick killed your beloved uncle right about? You deserved far better than this. Here? You believe people can change. You're still seeking out Klaus's redemption as if that were a thing that was even possible. The world is a rather awful place. You really said that to him? The world isn't awful. People are not awful. They want, they want to be, be good. good. Here's the only family I have left without him. I'm alone. There's a mercy killing. He knew that this town needed him. A light shines in the darkness. My favorite niece? And we still do. And the darkness has not overcome it. To Father K. Don't lie. Father K. Why do you even care about Kenny? Klaus let you into his life because he trusted you. I trust her. I trust you. You see the good in it? The good I see in you versus the horrible things I know you've done. And after centuries on this earth, do you really not see that all of your violence... Rebecca! Enough running, children! ...is pointless! Don't become your father. She believed with all her heart that you had some good left in you. I don't believe in evil as a diagnosis. I like her spirit. The light shines in the darkness. So do I. And the darkness has not overcome it. <laughs> oh, Sarah, do I even have to think that? I was your light. I see that he wants to be more than what he is. But there is light in you. I guess the great O'Connell family line endeth here. You're a compassionate woman, Camille. <laughs> it's your fatal flaw, and it will be your downfall. You can be the light for your little girl. Finally living up to the potential that Cammie saw in you. She would have been proud.